Hi, if you could just start by introducing yourself. Hi, I'm Toby Marsh and I'm the creative director of PetsForDramas.com. And how did the exhibition come about? So we have a long-standing working relationship with Dogs Trust and we met Gerard Gethings, the photographer, last year. Um, and we own the building and we have this gallery space, this amazing space that we don't often get the chance to use. Um, so we thought, we put our brains together, we wanted to raise money for the Dogs Trust and we came up with the idea for this exhibition. And Gerard desperately, desperately wanted to showcase his work and we wanted to, we wanted to give him the chance to do that. And how does it work? How do people donate money to the Dogs Trust? So we have put all the works up online on petsforjamas.com. Just go to the site and it's plastered everywhere. Um, and people can go online, they can view all the pictures up there, um, and they can then place a bid. Um, so all bids um, are then closed on Sunday, on the 30th. Um, and all of the um, profits from the auction will go to the Dogs Trust. So people really do have a, have a chance to really help out the dogs that need rehoming. And there's quite a lot of celebrities uh, involved in the project. Uh, could you name a couple of them? We have lots of celebrities um, involved. They were so generous with their time. Um, we have everyone from, I'm looking around the room, Henry Holland, fashion designer, um, Got Kwan, um, Bricksmith Start behind me, um, Vanessa White from Saturdays, um, we have Lydia Bright, we have um, Charlotte Dalal, the shoe designer, literally so many, so many, and we're very, very thankful that they got involved with us and the project. And there's also um, some pictures of Dogs Trust Dogs as well, is that right? Yes, we have a very like mammoth, impressive um, installation on this large wall here um, of 20 um, Dogs Trust Dogs. Um, Gerald went down for the day and took the day and just and photographed there and he said it was amazing. Um, and there are still dogs on that wall that need rehoming, so people can go online, um, have a look, they can see the status of the dog, um, and if they want to place a bid and home a dog, that would be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and um, how, how did it work uh, with Gerard shooting the dogs? Where did you shoot them? So Gerard has his own studio, but we actually did it all down, down, down on the bottom floor of the gallery here. So we set up for a week, week and a half, um, and we asked all the celebrities to bring their dogs down. Um, and we just, we just did it for a week. Um, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And were there any dogs who were a bit more difficult to shoot, um, a little bit more uh, difficult? Well, um, Cocker Spaniels are pretty hyper. Um, we made the mistake of introducing a squeaky toy, um, which went down very well, but wasn't particularly conducive to a, um, to a photo shoot. Um, my mistake, um, but no, they were all so well behaved. Surprisingly, so there were there were no there were no incidents. So it was it was it was great. And do you have any um, photo that's a particular favourite of yours? I love not only because of his name, but because of, because of the photo Danger Mouse over there. Um, Ojane Wears Dog, cutest thing ever. Um, Danger also, Mouse. Danger Mouse, best name ever. Um, <laughs> I've also put him on the postcards as well because he's just, he's just one of my favourites. Great, thank you very much for talking to High Society Hounds. It's an absolute pleasure and thank you for coming down to see us. Thank you.